Okay, right, hey, hi. Sorry I've not been making videos for the last a few weeks, but um, the weather has been absolutely awful. Um, we had the beast from the east, and then um, Storm Emma, and then the mini beast from the east. And it just got a little bit grey and a bit wet and a bit windy and a bit snowy and a bit cold. And I got a bit ill after that. So, yeah, I haven't been doing any videos. But today, the weather is glorious. It's like a spring day. It's, uh, it's according to the, the car dash, it's 11 degrees, which is nice. It's sunny, there's some cloud. Uh, blue skies and I fancied testing out the two new lenses I got last week um, which I'm quite excited about. I've got the 17 to 40 f4 L Canon lens and the 24 to 105 f4 L Canon lens. So I um, want to give them a, a good testing today. Um, so came up to Northumberland. Where else would you go? Um, on a lovely day like this and I uh, thought well let's try and get a sunset um, the clocks went forward yesterday so instead of it being 6.30 when sunset is it's uh, 7.30 tonight so it's going to suit the tide times it's going to suit me um, so it's, hopefully we're going to get some, some, great, uh, some great pictures at the minute I'm on my way to Dunstanborough. Um, I know that's where we went a couple of weeks ago, uh, sorry, uh, about a month ago now, but I thought we'd go to the south side of the castle to have a look. Completely different uh, landscape, completely different uh, pictures of the castle, uh, views of the castle, and hopefully we should be able to get some colour in the clouds um, to give that uh, really, really nice looking shot. So, that's where we're going. Um, um, should be there in about 15 minutes. So, see you then. coastal village of Craster, famous for kippers and um, well been very close to a massive castle called Dunstanborough Castle. Dunstanborough um, Castle is the largest ruin of a castle in England. Um, it's quite uh, imposing and it's quite ruinous now um, having been um, out of use for centuries uh, and it's my plan to walk up uh, along the, the coastal path um, and hopefully get some uh, nice 
sunset shots um, from where this the, the, where the sun sets it is possible to actually get some nice colors in the sky providing the cloud plays ball I mean I know it doesn't always go that way we've, we've got to roll with the punches as, as landscape photographers um, but it is my intention to try and get some um, some of those wonderful uh, oranges and golds in the sky. Then it's crossed. Um, so, sunset is a little over two hours from now. It's um, 5.27 at the minute, sunset 7.31. So that'll give me enough time to walk up and down the path, hopefully find some locations, maybe get some stuff during the golden hour as well as at, at, at the right time of sunset. And who knows, maybe I'll decide to stay on after into the blue hour, go around the base of the, 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 the castle and uh, get some shots um, from the north side, from where the Cannonball Rocks are. Um, the tide will be coming in at that point, so that might give us an opportunity to get some cloudy uh, uh, seas moving in, the, the, in and amongst the uh, volcanic rocks. But uh, who knows? We'll just play it by ear once we get up there and uh, we'll see what we can get but um, at the minute it's blue skies, it's broken cloud, it's warm-ish. <laughs> I've, I've got my thick jacket and my gloves for later on. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the best day this week folks so uh, let's make the best use of it. See you in a minute. Okay, so I was just thinking back, it's been a long time since I came to Craster for the very first time and actually on up to Dunstanborough. Uh, it was 1986 and I think I was about 12 and it was a school trip and in all those years the place has not changed except I think it was uh, grey and overcast then and I was here with my mate Mario Fernandez, shout out to you buddy, and uh, it was a cool time, and we all went paddling in the seat, but I'm digressing, I'm just enjoying the beautiful, beautiful late afternoon sun in late March, so I'm just going to flip you around and show you Yeah, I've got the ultra wide angle lens on, but I'd, Dunstanborough Castle is about there in the distance. And you've got all these wonderful flowering gorse, and there's Craster the back there. It's stunning. So I'm just hoping, fingers crossed, everything crossed, cross eyed, that we get a wonderful sunset tonight. Yeah. Right, anyway, see you further out. Right then, well, Problems. I'm not happy. Well, I'm never happy, but this is uh, this, this has been a bit of a catastrophe, really. Um, just going to set the 5D Mark III up, and the guts of it have fallen out. So when I've taken the lens off, the internals have actually uh, fallen out. Um, it's only ever happened to me once before. That happened to me with my uh, Olympus. Um, many many years ago now uh, so don't know what to do I'm gonna try and take some shots with the vlogging camera which means I won't be able to vlog with it I'll try and get the GoPro up and running and and, and maybe do something with that I, I just don't know I don't know if I can um, so I'll get some um, time lapses together and stuff and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I might be able to get an image, maybe, but we'll see. 
Uh, and I'll keep you updated to the future of the, the 5D. And see you later.